Hey there, and welcome to The Locker Room. Coach Giggs here, and today's message, built to last. Built to last. Excuse me, not many years ago, a book came into my hands, uh, and the title of it was Built to Last. I'm sure many of you in business know this book. In fact, it's an extremely important book if you're in business. The premise of the book and the extensive research that was done show case study after case study of solid companies that showed steady growth year after year after year, i.e. companies that were built to last. How did they do it? What was and is their secret? And what could we who are seeking that level of success do to become one of these individuals, companies, families, or governments that's built to last? Well, let me give you a little story of a company that may shed some light. Zildjian Symbols Company is a 200 plus year old company. It's family run. It only has 136 employees, yet they control 50% of the symbol market in the world. That, and by the way, they are 100% U.S. made. This company is built to last. What is their secret? I'll tell you in a second. Let me share with you another story. The other day I was eating lunch at one of my favorite restaurants called Tiramisu. It'd been there for years and there was no signs that it was letting up. But a few weeks ago, I noticed right next door, a new restaurant opened up called Puntina Bistro. It looked really nice. They spent a fortune on this restaurant. Beautiful chairs and tables and umbrellas and it was beautiful. So I decided I would check this place out. Well, after being seated, I waited and I waited and I waited some more for someone to come and let me know that I even existed. And finally, I got myself some water. I got myself a drink and I sat there and I said, you know what, guys, I want to give you a chance, but I think I'm going to go back to Tiramisu. So I went back to Tiramisu. Now, maybe I left too soon, but let me fast forward. Several days later, I went back because I wanted to see maybe they were having a bad day. But then I figured out what happened. The waitress had made a mistake on this man's drink. The man got a little upset and the manager came over with the waitress and began to tell the customer, I'm so sorry, my waitress here is not well trained. I promise I will work with her. How could you do this? You know that it's free. He literally dressed her down and chewed her out in front of the customer. Need I say any more? Is that company or restaurant, I should say, built to last? No way. Thanks for joining me in the locker room, and we'll see you tomorrow, gang. Bye-bye. Okay, that restaurant's not built to last. So how do you build something to last? Well, be sure and tune in tomorrow's locker room for part two of Built to Last. <laughs>